Oh, sup? What is up? What is going on, everybody? I, I thought I'd try on my my Broncos beanie. It's just that with orange, with orange in the beanie, it kind of makes my beard look even oranger, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. Memphis Express versus Birmingham Iron. The AAF, the Alliance of American Football, the brand new professional football league, uh, the first week has been played. This is the third of four games. I'm doing my reactions to them because I've been asked so many times to do it. And also because I'm just very fucking interested to see how, the, how good these players are. To see what the level is. I mean, you can't expect a huge amount. It is the first, the first season, the inaugural season. Um, there are some ex-NFL players. I did do a video looking at uh, some, some of the top prospects from each team and learning a, a few of the intricacies and the rules. So, yeah. Obviously, I'm an offensive-based kind of guy. I love my wide receivers, I love my running backs, I love my quarterbacks. So that's sort of where I'm focusing my attention, but, um, yeah. I'm enjoying it so far, I hope you guys are too. Game number three, Memphis versus Birmingham. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. The opening weekend of the Alliance continues here on this Sunday afternoon. The first of ten games here on Sundays at 4 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. And today it's the Memphis Express <laughs> taking on the home squad, Birmingham Iron. Recognize those of you that are football fans. Christian Hackenberg from Penn State and the home state product, at least in his college days, Trent Richardson. Okay, Christian yes, Hackenberg. yes. This... Trent Richardson, definitely the one guy I was most intrigued about when I saw the list of players because he was the third overall pick in the NFL. Number three, and over four NFL seasons, he scored 2,000 rushing yards. So a third overall pick, averaging 500 yards a season over four seasons. It's not, I guess, the numbers that you'd expect. I mean, Saquon Barkley was, was just drafted second overall. You know what kind of a season he's had. So Trent Richardson, I haven't done any research on him, I don't know who he is, but he is playing for the Birmingham Iron. He is number 33, he's a running back, and I cannot wait. I have a feeling he's going to carve up in this game. Let's have a look. Despite being a second round pick for the Jets, was the 15th quarterback taken in the Alliance draft. And for Trent Richardson, no introduction needed here around these parts. The former Alabama great, third overall draft pick to the Cleveland Browns, figures to be a big piece to this iron rushing attack. It was a wide receiver as a freshman, a very confident young man was a training captain in Los Angeles Rams. Oh yeah. Get the first down. I was like, is he gonna freaking truck this guy or, or what? He, he looks a bit tall. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get down there. Don't worry about it, just hurdle. Pick up a don't worry about it. Well, Los Angeles Rams fans <laughs> might recognize this play. This is a Sean McVay special. But I got to admit, when the quarterback, sorry, I'm going to I'm going to stop these games all through because I want to talk. When the quarterback faked it to number 33, Richardson, Richardson seemed, man, he was freaking onto it. He was looking for the block, he was on his feet still. He knew he wasn't going to get the ball, but he was you know, he 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 looked he looked onto it. He looked like a guy who knew what he was doing. So give him the ball, I say. Great boom in the tight end, lines up on the wing to the left side, goes behind the line of scrimmage, bootleg pass, and then shows that great athletic ability. No. Perez taking a shot. Got it! What a catch. See, that play action, that play action faking it to uh, Richardson is always going to work, isn't it? Because he's such a threat. Or he should be such a threat. Steps a gain of 43 yards. Arch, watch the top of the route. Quentin Patton, and he gets that great separation. We talked to the offensive coordinator, Steve Logan. And he said quick. this offense needs explosive plays. That 10-yard line to be able to stand tough and force a field goal attempt, I think is a win for Mike Singletary's defense. So Nick Novak. Ten All right. In the National Football League. Mike Singletary is the coach of Memphis. Okay. Ah, and no back is true, and the Birmingham Iron have their first points in franchise history. First points in franchise history. Awesome. 
heaps of records are going to be going to be made, aren't they, over the next few years? The Alliance of American Football. Yeah. Do you guys really think this is going to stick around? I hope so. First down, Birmingham, and it's Patton again coming up with a catch. Two teams in the Alliance. From that heat there of Anthony Johnson who drops in for a loss is head. There he is. Love that, a loss of eight. Oh, get that. Oh, yeah. What a play by nice work. Did well to hold that. He's having some day here. Jamar Summers comes up with a football for the game's first turnover. What a read by the linebacker. I want to say that was number 51. No, excuse me. That was 54. 54 Matthew Wells. Yes. Who read Hacker, or read the quarterback perfectly. Yeah, nice tip. And that was extremely well covered inside, but a wonderful break on the ball from Wells. Gets the ball up in the air. <laughs> He's happy. He should be. Perez makes the throw, the catch is made, and they've got the first down inside of the 35. It's Bowman again, the tight end, a gain of 15. To attempt this one from 28. And he's true on that one, so 6 nothing. You kind of, you, you kind of always know the, the, the tight end, don't you? Tight end definitely have a, a sort of a body type, don't they? They're, they're most likely going to be one of the tallest players in the field, but they're, they're quite obviously not going to be a lineman. So it's like you look for a tall person, it's basically a tall, like skinny person, although they're obviously not skinny, but they look skinny as opposed to the lineman. The tight end position is definitely the most similar to uh, the lock position in rugby. You're going to be, I guess, still pretty mobile. You're going to be still relatively fast but you're going to have that height, you're going to have that size. So it's definitely, it's sort of like a, a mixture of, I guess, height, speed, strength, size, but that height has to be there. You're not going to have a short lock and, and you're also not going to have a short tight end, I assume. Birmingham, a pair of Nick Novak field goals for Tim Lewis and a Birmingham iron, you're on top, 6-0. Because here on second and seven, goes over the middle instead on a quick little slant there. Quick slant. The catch is made. I haven't seen Richardson at all. I'll tell you after the snap. He's a strong. Give it to Richardson. Not this time, though. No, <laughs> Richardson's, <laughs> Richardson's in the black, sorry. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was this guy right here. There he is. Give it to him. Perez, nah. open man. Block, Kick block. No, oh, go Richardson. Block him. I'm sorry, but I can't help but watch this number 33 in each snap. Just see what he does. First down to get the first down out across the board and getting ready to play this game. Nice throw. Beautiful throw, isn't it? Beautiful. Sells it beautifully to the outside, and what a play again. Second time today, under pressure. 28 yarder, here he is with 47. Good snap for Holm and Novak. 10 years he's spent the NFL nice with kick. a number of teams. 10 years? Nine, Memphis nothing. Fucking hell. <laughs> is this high quality? Yes. Finally! Give him the ball! Oh! He's lost it. Let them unfurl the bodies in there. It came up. Shit. Marcus Gates, the one that forced the fumble. Uh, Trent Richardson. Tell me he's got it. Who has it, Ben? I'm going to guess Birmingham. No, 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 it's Memphis. They've got it. <laughs> I couldn't tell. All the bodies in there. They burned in it free. Oh. They the ground game and they pick it up. It's Terrence McGee to move the Terrence McGee. 
Oh, Tizza. Reminds me of Barkley. I mean, you get that ball, as soon as he hits the ground, he's making a cut, right? It's exactly what happened there. As soon as he hit the ground after getting that hand off, he made the cut. And it had to happen. Bam! See? Literally jumps up, grabs the ball, already knows he's coming off his right. And he's going to try and slice up here, isn't he? And Stacey breaks through there. A good pick up on a first down run. Presents Stacey as Casey Sales made the stop. Stacey as Casey. And the game matters the ball. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. That was shocking. Who is that running back? Big stop. Good shit, man. Good shit. What's, what's 78 doing? Look, this guy, this guy stuffed it all up. He stuffed it all up. But even so, even so, this guy, he would have, this guy would have been coming up to try and stop him. And he, he would have got him. The right tackle and makes that play in the backfield. Now, I just, I don't love the play call right there. You have your fullback, Anthony Manzo Lewis. He has two punts. There's a flag, though. Oh, good catch. As Davis Cole got in there, just pig out on the return. Did he catch it on the foot? In the end zone. Yeah, running into what the did it bounce? Back. Maybe a case. Roughing the kicker. <laughs> With his little motion of kicking, I thought the guy kicked, kicked the kicker. But no, he, he's doing that because he's motioning that the kicker got roughed. Okay. And they're first down again. And they're not going to get it here. That kick goes well left. There's Schmidt. No penalty here. High punt. And they get down there and down it. Took a perfect oh. And they pin it wow. inside the five. <laughs> Where did that bounce? That literally bounced like. An inch before the line. Nice. Fuck, he nearly got cleaned up there. Throw to their outside receivers to get back in this game. All right, here goes Perez and the Birmingham Iron Offense. They take a shot. Perez for a And a beautiful play. Clinton Patton is main man today. Well done. A huge game. Davis tall with a pressure, but it didn't matter. Nine nothing. Good catch, man. That's not, that, that ain't easy. Here's the word. That ain't easy. Richardson. Richardson. Singletary defense has done a nice job. Okay. The first and got one. Got one. <laughs> Once again, just a, a slight right jump cut or step, and he's in. That seemed pretty easy. Let's have a look. See what the offensive line did. Why is there a yellow flag? The former Alabama great taking it in for the touchdown and burning hands up 15 nothing. The two point conversion attempt upcoming. Bring its way to the National Football League. We're not going to see it. Richardson behind Perez. Perez instead. Give it to him again. Get there, Richardson. Richardson. He gets the two as well. And that's really the only two route that he's been able to convince Get another. this game. Here he goes on fourth and four. That time. And there's the crossing play. But they don't. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What a play on that far sideline. Nice. I thought, the, uh, I thought the attacker was going to throw him off, but the defender was too strong. Eight seconds now on the two. 
They get it away. Richardson. Solid. Richardson. Still moving the pile. Trent Richardson. And the big boys up front. That's a first down run. True on that one. 20 to nothing. Birmingham with 417 to go. He's hit from 29, 28, 47. Drive. Yikes. Yikes. First and goal. Get there, Richardson. Three. Fuck, I like that. I like that. I didn't expect, I did not expect Richardson to score three touchdowns. He hadn't done anything, and it was like three quarters. When did he, fir when did he score his first touchdown? When did he, where was that first one? Fourth quarter, he scored three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I actually want to watch this one again. Singletary's defense is going bang. Nice little dead leg there. I like that. Okay, so in 13 minutes, well, 12 minutes, he scored three touchdowns. Well done. Good Xavier shit. Xavier Dixon. First and goal. Richardson. It's a tired defense, though, isn't it? Trent Richardson's got another touchdown for Birmingham. Inside of two minutes to go, a five-yard run. And Tim Lewis and his guys are on their way to a 1-0 start in the Alliance. Fucking hell, look at that. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> but look at that visor. Look at that shit. He looks like a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like a, 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 a Power Ranger. He looks like a Power Ranger. That's what he looks like. The black one. The Black Power Ranger. I don't know about you, Ben, but it looks to me that as this game's gone on, Trent Richardson has got stronger and stronger. Yes. Really yeah. nice job breaking the arm tackle inside. And it was felt like we didn't have a, a, a lead for those guys to go to that they could one go and get a little bit more experience, but also go and make it their own, right? So right now, this is what you're seeing from AFL. And uh, I think it's going to continue to grow. Birmingham had a good turnout here, had good turnouts last night. Luis Perez and the Loving Birmingham it. Iron pitched the shutout on opening day, 26 nothing. Does they take care of business? And that's another one done. Okay, we are on to the final game of the week, which is the Salt Lake Stallions versus the Arizona Hotshots. And I can't wait to watch it. So if you have, so if you have enjoyed this video, guys. If I've made you laugh, if I've made you smile, if I've made you cry, if you've given me shit, if you've yelled at the screen saying you have no idea what the hell you're on about, hit the like button, subscribe for more because there's going to be plenty more to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.